The budget BMW has come such a long way since we bought this car back in January. And as you can see, it is looking stunning. I had some hoop dreams, but no jumping like a madam. My pen is too clean, so I had to stick with rapping. My we have been restoring, fixing, and modifying this car for a couple of months now. And whilst I absolutely love this car, there is something missing. Ghost like I'm Danny Phantom, and I can sell a nigga, but I really sell it here. It's my niche, and business sent the piece. And the thing this car is missing is clearly an exhaust. Like, it's quite nippy, but it just doesn't sound very dramatic. Now, to fix our quiet exhaust on the budget BMW, I have got this. Inside of this box, we have a valved exhaust system, which is going to give us the ability to make our exhaust loud and quiet. It's quite possibly the perfect thing to have on a daily driver. Look at that. Guys, this is the Valvetronic Designs valved exhaust system, and this is going to be so sick. So not only did we get the muffler in the box, but we also got this. I think this is the vacuum system. This box right here is what's going to be controlling the valve in this muffler. The way this works is inside of this tube, as you can see, there is a valve and that valve opens and closes, obviously. When the valve is closed, the exhaust gases travel through this pipe and through this section of the muffler, which is muffled, and when the valve is open, the exhaust gases just go straight through here, which is basically just a straight pipe. So, going through here makes the exhaust loud, and going through here makes the exhaust quiet. It's a genius bit of technology, really, and it's basically what all supercars have. And the valve in the exhaust system is controlled by this red box and these vac lines, and basically, you can press this button in the bag here, and once you press that button, it basically sends a signal, some thing happens, I don't know, and it opens the valve and closes the valve. So uh, yeah, press that button, quiet, press that button again, loud, it's sick. Quit asking me questions. Yeah, I know you, but we ain't friends. Quit asking me questions. Yeah, we in this section, but you can't get in. Quit asking me questions. Yeah, I got the new Chrysler, blue with the tent. Quit asking me questions. I'm tired of these questions, man. Ask me questions. So we have arrived here at the exhaust company in Newbury. These are the guys that I've trusted to do all of my exhausts in the past. They do a very good custom job. So we're going to get the E46 into their unit, get the valved system out, and then work a way to kind of fabricate it into a custom exhaust, get some custom tips as well. We're gonna have to pick those. So um, yeah, let's do it. Wanna see you with your hands up. Going straight to the sky, let me see you put your hands up. So this is the room where we can choose the exhaust tip that we're going to put on. And I think I have chosen this exhaust. There is quite a lot to choose from. There's this wall and there's another wall around there. But I think this will fit with the theme of the budget BMW, that OEM Plus theme. We've got the chrome grills, we've got the silver wheels, and I think this will match quite nicely. So I've just had a little chat with the guys at the exhaust company, and the plan is to leave the cats in, and we're going to run a Y pipe after the cats to make sure there is a singular pipe. We're gonna run that through to around about here, and then we're going to have a clamp so that I can take the rear section off from the mid section without obviously cutting into any exhaust, because we are going to be doing a 330ci m54 b30 engine swap so that's going to make that a lot easier as we come to the rear we're then going to run the uh, valved muffler here with our twin chrome tips hopefully this is going to be absolutely epic let's let them get on with it So, ladies and gents, as you can imagine, when building a custom exhaust, there is a load of cutting to be done, a lot of measuring, but also a load of welding, as you're gonna see. And you're also going to see that I absolutely love these Valvetronic Designs mufflers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video as to where I got my one from, so you guys can pick one up for your car. These mufflers are universal, so they will fit on 99% of your cars. So if you're interested, click that link.
So after a lot of measuring and welding, the exhaust is now on the BMW and it is looking awesome. We have the Y pipe at this end and it goes down to a straight pipe to the muffler with the valve and our beautiful twin chrome tips. All we need to do is get this vac line kind of connected up to the box in the boot. And once that's all done, we can give it a listen and I'm hoping it's gonna sound unreal. So getting the valve control box connected up is dead simple. There's just a vac line that runs from the muffler to the box and then also two electrical connectors which connect up to the battery. And after we've done that, we were finished. Right guys, so everything is now together. Obviously we need to put some things back on the car but everything should now be in place to make this valved system work. So I have the Valvetronic Designs button in my hand and with the press of a button, you can hear that. That has opened the valve and now I can start it up for the first time. So to give you guys a quick demonstration as to this valve system, I'm going to hold the car at 2000 RPM and then I'm going to change it to race car mode and you'll be able to hear the difference. So. So as you just heard, there is a massive difference between when the valves are open and when they are closed. All I can say is that it sounds even more of a difference in person. So ladies and gents, obviously I'm driving the BMW now. It's been about half an hour since I left the exhaust company. And I've got to say, I absolutely love this exhaust note. I did uh, just drop off the hardtop at the unit because it's very sunny and I wanted to enjoy it. Um, and you can hear the exhaust a lot better as well when the, when the top's down. So. Right, okay, I reckon first gear pull. Oh, this is sounding so juicy. <laughs> Jeez, man. I don't know. I don't know, you guys let me know in the comments. Whenever you get an exhaust in your car, does it just feel faster? Because it always does, for me. It always feels quicker. It sounds sick, though. <laughs> hell. Oh, bro. These, an exhaust makes me want to drive a car like, like an idiot. It makes me want to drive a car like an idiot, but it does sound so good. I mean, I think it was the right decision to go for the cat back and then obviously the Valvetronic Designs muffler because it has the perfect amount of sound when the valves are open, not too much so that's like obnoxious. Um, and then when the valves are closed, it doesn't, it doesn't like drone on the motorway and it doesn't rasp at all when the valves are closed. It's just civilized and nice and headache free basically when the valves are closed. When the valves are open and you wanna have some fun, Sounds so good. Sounds so good. Yeah, it's a tunnel. All right, we're going through the tunnel. <laughs> versatility of being able to turn it off. Wow, perfect. I just love the fact that I can just make it quiet if I want. I mean, that's something that's pretty much reserved for supercars, that, that ability to do that, to turn your exhaust off and on pretty much. And don't get me wrong, this universal muffler from Valvetronic Designs, it doesn't completely 
cut out the noise when the valves are closed. Like you can still hear the exhaust note and it is probably louder than standard. But um, when the valves are open, it does make a massive change to like the tone and the, and the, the general sound of it. And I have to say, I'm really happy with it. I'm really happy with it. So yeah, I am absolutely in love with the exhaust on this car, but I am going to leave the video there, guys. So if you did go on to enjoy it, make sure to smash that like button and click that subscribe button if you haven't already, especially because we have some insane content coming on this budget BMW. We've got one more video fixing some more problems, and then we also have the engine swap, the M54 B30 engine swap. This car is going to be a lot more powerful than it is in the minute. So if you do want to stay up to date with that, then make sure to smash that subscribe button and let me know down in the comments below what you think of this video and the exhaust. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.